Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, we're gonna do a unboxing video today. Got some parts in. Traded a friend for some other things. Got some of this stuff, so we'll look through there. Um, I haven't taken the bells out of the box yet. I've just taken some of the packaging out to make it a little bit quicker, so this will be fun for you and me, hopefully. Um, before we get to that, I got a couple little upgrades down here. Um, so this area is where I'm going to be doing my um, paint stripping videos whenever I get around to doing that. Um, and there's not a whole lot of light over here, but I ended up finally installing a uh, little under light right there. So now when, uh, when I do a video on paint stripping and I'm working here, you guys will be able to see everything really nice. And then um, also the sink where I soak my parts and cleaner uh, finally has a lot of light, so now I can see what I'm spraying. You can see I got a bell in there right now. Um, so that's really nice because this corner was always really dark because it's kind of behind the door and there's only one light right there, so that's nice having light directly on the sink. So, get some more light, trying to help the uh, video quality in the future. Um, but we'll get into the unboxing, so. This uh, this stuff was bought off of eBay from a good friend of mine, and then uh, he ended up not wanting it, and then I had some things that I didn't want anymore, so traded him some stuff for this stuff, so this kind of helps me with some, some future projects, so we'll see what we got here. Start with this. Alrighty, so this is uh so what he got was a partial K5LA uh, former CSX. Um it was just a manifold and three bells. And um so we'll kind of see what I can use some of this for. Um, looks like still have some CSX paint underneath all the crap. The overall paint is not in very good condition. If somebody looks like somebody tried to scrape some of it off at some point. Um, let's see, this is. I can get that for you guys. It kind of, I don't know, I don't think that's a raised circle. If it is, it's a really messed up one. Um, but it is a big inlet. And I guess I should start off with, um, I believe it's a 3A. I can't see an A in there unless if it's just thick. Oh wow, no. I'm looking down the uh down the throat and it is not bored. So this is a uh this is a standard three bell. Well that's kinda neat. I thought for sure this was gonna be a a three A, but if you guys look down in there, you can tell there's not much of a bore. Normally if it was a three A you would see it bored down a little bit further, so so that's really interesting. This is a, a CSX three bell. Hmm. Um, I won't be opening these in this video. Just uh, I don't know how hard some of these bolts are going to be. Um, I'll probably just do an update on these parts once I uh, get them apart and kind of look in there. Um, it is does have a wide font back cap. Um, so I don't know. This might possibly be an '80s. 80s bell Because I'm guessing with with how crazy this looks I'm not sure I don't really understand why it would have a uh, Wide font cap the thickness of the power chamber right here kind of 
looks like it might be 80s. This might be an 80s bill, just with a uh, really messed up circle. Because, I mean, it, it is it is there. It's just kind of messy. So, I don't know. My, it's, either, it's either a 90s bill or an 80s bill. Either way. Um, and looks like there was some some gray underneath that blue definitely wide fun underneath the paint um like I said the paint's paint's not in the greatest condition it's a little bit better on the body of the bell you can actually see the blue um but that's pretty cool I honestly thought this was a, a 3A but it's a standard standard 3 so that's pre pretty cool no no real bore depth to it just a little bit of a little bit of space in between the nozzle and the diaphragm down there, so that's that's cool. I don't even think he knew it was a uh, standard three. We always thought it was a three A, so it'll be neat once we get that opened up and kind of check it out more. So we'll go ahead and keep it going here. Um, I'm sorry if it goes in and out of focus a lot. I am doing this one-handed, so just bear with me. wrapping off of this. Alright, so I've got a 5 bell. Uh, definitely 80s. It is a clearly raised circle. Five bell. Now this one does not have a wide font back cap, and the back cap that it does have is really, really screwed. So that's going to be a uh, full replacement. It does look like, um, as messed up as that bubble is, it is narrow font, big bubble. So it's a 90s back cap. So this is either... That's either a different back cap from what it originally had, or this is a late, late 80s 5 with the raised circle. So, either way, it's an 80s 5. Uh, <laughs> these ones are really going to be fun to clean. You guys can see, just looks like a magical cave in there. Full of stuff built up on it, so. wonder how much hassle these bolts are going to give me when I go to take them out. Like I said, once, once I get these open... I'll do another little update video uh, on the internals. Um, definitely former CSX has the blue coming through here and there. Uh, super dirty. Um, but yeah, that back cap's crazy. I, I've never seen anything like that. And that looks like it's all caused from pitting. Severe pitting. Either that or something... I don't know, something might have actually hit up against that, because i that's pretty bad. Like you get that far, that far away looks like the surface of the moon. <laughs> it's pretty wild. That's really busted up right there. So I don't know if that's just from poor casting and corrosion, or if it actually is damaged from some other source. Looks like definitely a lot of corrosion, though. I'm guessing corrosion is the number one killer on this back cap. Might have been another source to help it along with just how damaged it is, but either way, that's going to be a complete replacement. Um, really don't need a back cap that's venting that much. And it's pretty well screwed up, so. But the bell itself looks good. It's small inlet, not a. Uh, you guys saw it's not a big bore. It's a small bore five. So there's that. Come here and get the manifold out. If I can, start to get her unwrapped here. All 
Alright. So it's uh, definitely an 80s manifold. Uh, 80s tagless. See, it's got some stuff. Maybe it's a 90s. I guess it's a 90s manifold. 5, 295. I, I honestly, though, I don't know if that's a date that it was serviced or build date. But May 2nd, 95. So this might be a 90s manifold. The only reason that kind of makes me think it might be an 80s manifold is it's got a uh, an overcasted circle right there and a lot of the older manifolds kind of had had stuff like that. It does have the uh, half inch plug on one side, quarter inch plug on the other side. Um, tagless. So yeah, this, so yeah, I'm not sure it was CSX. I know this horn used to be CSX. If anybody knows why they would stamp a date on the manifold itself, let me know. Because um, I would love to know some more about that. Um, whether that's like a service date on this particular horn or, or what. Because the manifold really kind of looks like an 80s. Just from what I'm seeing on the casting and everything. Super crisp lettering right there, that's... Come on, focus. Alright, my phone's not focusing. There we go. So yeah, that's... Those letters are casted pretty decent, so... Yeah, I don't know if anybody... If anybody out there knows what's going on with this, let me know. It's really interesting, I've never... Other than the, uh, the low... Three manifolds from the 90s, I've never really seen... Dates... On a manifold, so that's kind of cool. So there's that, and then we got one more thing in here. We got the one bell. Let's see if we can get that out of here. All right, so there's the one bell. Uh, 80s bell raised circle big inlet and then wide font back cap but here's the really interesting thing this guy right here I have never seen a tag like this before on a horn. It really makes me wonder this horn because I mean clearly this is an 80s bell. It's got 95 stamped in the manifold. So I almost wonder if this horn was serviced by CSX at one of their shops at one point and then they stamped that date. Um, Cause that's a pretty, it's got the CSXT and then, uh, let's see, what is that? 26094005, God, what is that? 5602, 802, it's either a 6 or an 8, can't really tell, and then TEA 79901 WAR expiration 800. So, if anybody out there knows anything about a tag like this, let me know. Because I have never seen anything like this before. I'm guessing it's some type of a reshop tag. This horn had probably maintenance done to it, and then they tagged it for whatever reason. Not 100% sure on that. Like I said, if anybody knows anything, uh, leave a comment because I would love to know what's going on with that. And then also with the uh, with the dates on the manifold, 
as well. Um, uh, other than that, it's, uh, it is a it is a one bell. It's not an unmarked one. You can see it faintly through the paint there. Still has some of that blue paint. A little bit better in certain areas than others. Uh, this thing has definitely had multiple paint jobs. Look at how thick that is. You can see it's layered clear down. Um, looks like it was black. Yeah, definitely black paint underneath the CSX paint. So it was repainted at some point. Man, that's crazy just how thick that paint gets on there. If this would focus, that'd be great. But yeah, that's multiple layers. Black, gray on top of black, and then the CSX blue. So a lot of... Or maybe that's gray underneath. Yeah, gray underneath the black. So the gray was the primer for the black. And then the blue was just applied right over the black. Yeah, definitely, definitely wide font camp. That tag is really cool, though. Um, hopefully, hopefully I can find out some information on that. Um, overall, the one bell's in pretty good condition. No serious dents or anything. Most most of it's just paint chipping. Looks like there was a nest down in there for wasps or mud daubers or something. So, um, I'll probably work on getting uh, the bells opened today. Um, might do another little video just kind of to see what the internals are looking like on everything. So, uh, you guys might see another video come, come along uh, later on this evening or sometime. Um, but that's it uh, for the unboxing. That's all it was. The uh, manifold, a one bell, a five bell, and then... Uh, what I thought was a 3A is actually a 3, so that's that's pretty crazy. So I'll probably uh, cut the video at this. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if uh, anybody knows anything about uh, that tag or the stamping on the manifold, uh, any of uh, the real big CSX guys out there know anything on that, let me know. Because um, I would love to know uh, what's kind of going on with this thing. And then... Um, I'll get back to you guys on uh, what the internals look like. But uh, till next time, everybody, take care.